the House of Paws Dinner Theater is coming up again this year, and I am happy to be joined by Mel. Mel, thank you for joining us. You were just telling me this is the 19th year. It is the 19th year. That's amazing. It's hard to believe it's been around that long. I know. And you guys have an exciting play again this year. Tell me a little bit about, we do. about it. Murder at Crimson House. Uh -huh. And it's always a comedy. Mm -hmm. um, even if we buy the plays and they're not funny, we yeah. try and make them funny and include local little snippets that right. people that all of our people that attend can uh, certainly catch on to. Mm -hmm. um, we have tons of music. Yeah. We always throw music in. Um, we have, it's a smaller cast this year. Okay. And I had to check that. We have 15. <laughs> but all from the area, basically. All from the area. Uh, typically, we have a larger cast. Mm -hmm. But with life and people sick or busy or having yep. prior commitments, we had to get a smaller cast this year. Right. Uh, which works out just fine. We've got uh, Jim Lorenz and Gail Noble and myself, which has been the full 19 years. Mm-hmm. And then we've got others that have been, you know, 15, 10. We have two new people this year. Right. Which is always exciting. Yeah. See get what some they can bring to the exactly, table. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, tell me a little bit about the, where the money for this goes, because uh, you guys have been going for such a long time, mm -hmm. and it's kind of changed over the past couple of years, the focus. So where does the money raised go? Right. So last year was our first year that we became, the House of Paws became our own nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, we informed the SPCA, which all the years prior, it had gone to them. Right. And it had just gone in the general coffers, which we're very thankful that we can mm -hmm. help keep the shelter open. Right. Um, but we informed them that they're not going to get another 18 years out of us. <laughs> so that's why we decided to form the House of Paws Dinner Theater so that we can save the money. Okay. And the money is, last year we made 113000 wow, that's which is amazing. Which sitting in our bank account. Yep. Hopefully we can do the same this year right. or exceed that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will sit for the time that we, some, you know, they need a down payment or they get a grant and need some money to go towards a new building, a new shelter. Okay. Yep. Now, when can uh, will people start buying tickets for this? Because I know it sells out really quickly. Yep, uh, and we've downsized. We've only we're only doing three days this year. Oh, three okay. nights. Okay. What nights are you the doing? Thursday, them? Friday, Saturday. It's the 28th, 29th, and 30th. Okay. Of November. Okay. Tickets go on sale October the third. Okay. It's a Thursday at Mel's Hair Shop. Okay. Uh, 5201 48th Street. All right. And they, uh, we open the doors at nine. And they get the full dinner with this too. They get a full dinner. Also, that has been the full 19 years uh, Remax of Lloyd Minster. Right. They do the amazing meal. They sponsor it. They do all the cooking. Wow. All the prep. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's amazing. The $70 for the tickets mm -hmm. is the meal. Included and the play. Yes, but the meal is worth the $70. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing us be a bunch of jokers on stage <laughs> is just an added bonus. Right. <laughs> uh, how much work goes into this meal? How long do you guys have to rehearse and, and get everything together? Because this is something, obviously, especially, like you said, when everybody's so busy, that you can just pull together in a couple weeks. Yes. We have started, um, this. tonight will be our third practice. We okay. always start the first Wednesday in September, and which people think, oh, that's so long. But when you practice once a week, mm -hmm. you count the weeks. That's not very many. Right, right. So uh, practice once a week. Then as we get closer, we do all of our own sets. So we meet on a Sunday and we paint all of our sets, all of our backdrops and Just yeah. get everything going. Get everything <laughs> going, get all our own costumes. We have artistic uh, dance and costume. Mm -hmm. They're already planning our costumes right. this year. So they're a huge help. The community is amazing. Mm -hmm. The community is amazing. We well, have people that have donated, Arby's for instance, yep. has donated the baked potatoes since oh, day one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice when you have these people returning as sponsors as well then to Most you definitely. just kind of can make the call and you know that it's going to happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fingers crossed that everyone keeps <laughs> helping every year and this will be our 19th year and everyone's still on board. That's amazing, Mel. And once again, just before we go here, uh, let's talk about the date the tickets go on sale because as we mentioned, they sell out quickly. The date uh, they go on sale and the location people can buy them. Yep. October the 3rd, which is a Thursday, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mel's Hair Shop, 5201 48th Street. Doors open at 9 o'clock. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank and you. And good luck. We're looking yes. forward to, uh, to being thank involved you. once again. Thank Thanks you so much, Mel. Yeah.